Hello chicas, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working with this design. Um, it has a lot of steps, but it's really, really pretty. So then let's begin. I'm going to be using Iconic by the Color Blend Collection from Glam and Glitz. I'm also going to be using a black. Use whatever black you have. This one I get it on eBay from Queen Nails. So I saw this design, I believe it was on Pinterest, you guys. It did not come exactly as the picture that I saw, but actually I really liked the end results. Um, I think I should have changed some of the things that I used. You're going to be seeing that later on in the video. Um, and I'm going to be explaining to you like why and everything. So yeah, right here I'm just going to be applying the black. Uh, you have to really be careful when you're using a black acrylic because if it goes down onto your cuticle area, it, it's going to get pigmented and it's really, really hard to try and remove that pigment off the skin. So you have to be very careful when using really pigmented acrylics, especially black. Um, Another thing here, I'm using a number 10 brush by Alpha Brushes. As you guys know, <laughs> I know I need to clean my brushes. I already did, but and this is like a very old video. So I'm using this brush just because my other brushes were dirty and I had no other choice but using this one. I'm not a big fan of Alpha Brushes, you guys. I gotta really admit, um, they're good. They're really good. But to me, like, they're too expensive for the quality. So I guess it all depends on, on, you know, what you like to work with or I don't know. I guess it depends on each person. Um, but me personally, I do not like them. You guys always know that I rep recommend um, the one that I get on eBay. It's the Aqua Brush or the Aqua Kolinsky Brush from Nails Play Glamour, the number 14 one. It is really good. Also, the number 10, if you like working with smaller brushes, that brush is really good. But another, um, I think they raised up their prices, you guys, on the on the brushes. They used to be really, really cheap before uh, when I recently bought them. Um, when I recently bought them, I'm sorry, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, when they first came out, uh, I bought them, and um, they were really inexpensive. But recently, I checked their page, and they raised their prices on the brushes. Um, so. They're not that inexpensive anymore, you guys. Uh, they're like up to like 30 bucks or something, which to me, um, that's that's a lot for a brush. Um, that's why I always recommend the one that I get from eBay. I think I have a new link to it because you guys been telling me that the other link that I had, the, the brush wasn't unavailable anymore. So... Um, I did add a new link to it that way you guys can go ahead and buy the brush I think um, they're like 13 or 14 bucks you guys and if you could get the whole set for like 50 bucks so I think that's a steal um, if you want to buy the whole set go ahead I'm thinking of doing that you guys because I do use you know different brushes and different you know um, sizes and all just because sometimes my brushes get really dirty and I'm too lazy sometimes to even clean them um, I have to admit um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess it all depends on you guys. Uh, so right here on the pinky, I'm going to be doing an ombre. I started off at the tip of the nail using the Iconic from Glamming Lids. I really love this Iconic color, you guys. If you guys have the Fantasy Nails, um, Ciruela or Ciruelo or something like that, it's exactly that same color, you guys. So if you guys have that... Um, I know Nails Blinked carries Fantasy Nails uh, single acrylics. So if you have, it's I think it's number 60 or number 62. Um, let me check here in my in my little, yeah, it's number 60, you guys. It's called Ciruela. And um, <clears throat> if you guys go to their Nails Blinked page, they have, like I said, they're the single, the 3D ones. And it's exactly this color and a lot cheaper. So, um, like I said, I just did an ombre. I started at the tip of the nail. I, I brushed it upwards. And then at the cuticle area, I just applied the black and brushed it down and created an ombre. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, um, at all. So, um, now on the middle finger, I'm just going to be applying this um, iconic color or vino or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Burgundy. I don't know, you guys. But... Um, you guys see the color here. I'm just going to be applying it all over this nail. 
another thing that i did you guys is that i double tipped it just because the picture that i saw was really really long the nails were super long so i wanted to kind of recreate that so i did make um, my nails double tip i do have a video up on the channel on how i double tip nails if you guys want to go ahead and check it out so yeah so i'm just trying to make this color a little more opaque so that's so that it's not that translucent you have to be kind of careful with this color as well you guys because it's super pigmented as well and it will um get your cuticles all pigmented and all so we don't want that we want a super clean look so um try to not get your your skin um with acrylic so now I'm just going to go ahead and cap all of the nails. Um, I just start off from the cuticle area, brushing it down towards the tip of the nail. Um, I don't want my nails to look that bulky. That's why I'm only going in with like two um, beads of acrylic, crystal clear acrylic. The, the um, acrylic system that I usually use is the one from NSI. Um, I know that the link that I've been leaving you as well has not been working you guys I don't know why because their their website is still up and running I, I don't know what happened um, I think I'm gonna have to update you guys on that link as well because this is something that I use on the daily like NSI I live for you guys I really truly love this acrylic system um, I just really like it because it's not that stinky <laughs> it's not that strong um it's it's very you know it does have that monomer smell but it's not uh that strong my head won't hurt it's really really good um i like the placement of the beads like for example if i put it you know let's say at the cuticle area it's not gonna run down towards the cuticles um it's not gonna flood them or anything it stays where i place it and it it it, it literally just waits for me to go ahead and mold it to wherever i want to mold it so like i said i'm just going down towards the tip of the nail try not to make uh the nails too bulky or too thick uh just because they do look kind of funky if you do make your nails a little more uh bulkier so you guys right here off camera i just went ahead and shaped and filed off the nails and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply this matte top coat this one is from nail supply glamour it's really good and very inexpensive so if you want a good matte top coat i would suggest you go buy this one from nail supply glamour so i'm just applying a thin top coat all over the nails and then i go ahead and cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds it also depends on what kind of lamp you have mine is like a 12 watt lamp or something so i do stick it in there for about 60 to about a minute and a half so after it comes out of the lamp i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my foil gel on the middle finger but just on half of the nail why because we're gonna be applying some foil um floral foil <laughs> on the tip of the nail so i i put that in the lamp for 60 seconds and when it comes out of the lamp i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foil i am applying it a little bit like in sections i guess you can call it um i just like kind of uh place down the foil kind of rub it and then i remove it really quick and the foil just stays in place so this is pretty much all i'm gonna be doing with the foil you guys i don't i'm not gonna be applying more foil these foils you can find them on aliexpress for very inexpensive they are very inexpensive but if you don't want to um, buy anything from aliexpress you can totally buy these foils off from amazon so you can find them on amazon and you can also find them on ebay so yeah you guys right here and this is the mistake that i made i didn't want to use striping tape because um it is very hard to use striping tape you guys it is so hard to use it um it won't stick um and you know when you're working with yourself and um you know on yourself and trying to record it is super difficult to try and uh place down that freaking <laughs> striping tape so what i did is that i went ahead and added you know like a painting gel so i did a, I, I i went ahead and drew a line like down from the cuticle area all the way down to the tip of the nail on the pinky and across 
uh, on the middle finger. You see, you saw what I did. So I just went ahead and you know popped it in the lamp for about 60 seconds so that I'm so that it's able to cure you know correctly and then i went ahead and used this uh gold pigment i guess i don't know in reality what it is you guys but um it's for nails you can find these on amazon as well so i went ahead and rubbed it on the nail and then you know any excess of it i just wiped it off with alcohol or acetone with a small brush and then this is what i did but you guys um i saw that some of that gold pigment literally just um came off the nail and at the end you're gonna see what it looks like that's not what i really liked now looking at it i know i should have used the um, you know as much as it's hard to do i think i should have used the striping tape but i didn't you guys but you know you you guys do what you want and make the design yours if you want to change the colors if you want to change the tip if you want to, whatever it is make the design yours you guys so again i'm just gonna add another uh coat of another coat of uh, matte top coat i'm sorry i'm having brain farts today um, and cured that in the lamp for another 60 seconds and now I'm gonna be applying my rhinestones um, using my Zulai adhesive to adhere these stones you guys um, and then I'm using the sh champagne I think that's what they're called from Aliexpress um, I don't know if Amazon or eBay has them I'm pretty sure they do but I have not even looked for them um, but I did buy these off of Aliexpress a long time ago and they're really really good just because the shine that it, they have it shines for days you guys it really does so um, the process of these nails were a little long you guys just because there's a lot of steps to it so now I'm gonna be doing a 3d rose onto the ring finger just using the iconic um, acrylic from glamming glitz and um this 3d rose you guys i gotta admit is not my favorite as well i know i can improve but like i said i'm not a big pro on these you know 3d flowers 3d 3d roses i'm still learning with you guys i go you know i learn as i go and um they're really really difficult to do um like i said i'm a i'm not a beginner per se but on 3d you guys like it's super hard on me um i'm still practicing and i practice and i practice and I, I try to get better but there's something about 3d roses you guys that just don't me and 3d just don't click so um i did try my best because like i said the picture that i saw on pinterest did have these roses well one rose so um i just tried my best tried my best to do it you know as as to look exactly not exactly but you know just trying to make it look as similar as possible um like i said and i've always explained to you guys on other videos when, when where i make 3d flowers um i just place down my bead and i just wait for it to i don't go in um i don't go in with my brush right away i place down my bead and i wait for it to get a little I guess like a play-doh consistency you can see the bead starting to get like matte that's when you know you go in with your brush don't go in right away as soon as you place down your bead because you're gonna make a complete mess just wait for it to get like a matte consistency you're gonna like I said you're gonna see the bead getting into like a matte color that's when you know that you're able to go ahead and mold it if you see at the if you look at the at the bead that you just placed and it looks really shiny um it's not gonna work it's not gonna work you guys like i said it's gonna be a complete mess and you don't want to do that um and that's when you give up on 3d that's what happened to me because i didn't know the right time for me to go in and mold it um so yeah you guys i guess it just takes a little practice and a little patience which sometimes i don't have you guys <laughs> so yes chicas um this is the, unre the end result and i really hope uh, you guys like it you know i tried my best to recreate it as much you know as similar as i could and i really did enjoy um how it turned out you know like i said there's some little details here and there that i didn't really like but anyway, um, I did like it. I enjoyed it. And I would wear these on a daily, to be honest. Because I, I love, you know, really exotic nails. So thank you guys for being here. And um, 
if you're new don't forget to subscribe please everybody leave me a big thumbs up it really helps me out a lot um thank you again for being here and um if you like the video don't forget to share as well and yeah you guys i'll catch you guys in the next one take care stay safe god bless and bye bye